What is up everybody? It is the Unbased Gamer here and today I'm going to show you how to activate extra headphone out or audio outputs on your computer when Linux may not detect them right away. So what I'm referring to is specifically is If you look at the back of the computer, the bottom uh, three inputs are the red one, the green one, and the blue one. I don't have a microphone plug into the red one as I use my com uh, an external audio interface, but we'll just use that as demonstration. Uh, that is what we're going to be activating, as well as as well as the headphone out. Uh, jacks that are on the front of the computer. <sighs> okay, so one of the first things that we're going to want to do, and yes guys, I did switch back to Pop! OS because I realized how bad it was going to be to manage Pure Arch, and I d really did not want to switch back to Manjaro, <laughs> and uh, Pop! came out with some really good updates as of late, so yeah, we're in business there. So. The first thing that we're going to want to do is open whatever package manager and we're going to want to uh, download Pulse Audio Volume Control. Or it, you can uh, t also type in Pavu and it should come up. Pulse Audio Volume Control. Now what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to open that up, which it should be right there. Okay. And Gnome's an awesome desktop environment, and Pop is kind of the cosmic kind of master this as well. Um, so what you'll first want to do is you'll want to enable a subset of audio configurations called Family 17H, HD audio controller. And then you'll do analog stereo duplex. And then... Plug your headphone into either the front or the back jack. Now that we've enabled this setting, we will go into audio settings. And then the headphones option should show up. It won't show up by default on a lot of distros. So in order to enable this functionality, you will have to manually download Pavu Control, then enable the Family 17H uh, audio models and then go into your settings and then use that as your default device. I'm not going to mess with the audio right now, but this is how you would enable that feature in the future should you need to connect speakers to it as well. For me, in my case, I think it's just simple to use an external audio interface for these type of applications. However, not everybody does that, so for people who are just looking for simplicity, that's the way that you would do it. I uh, hope you found this video useful and major announcement. Easy Anti-Cheat now has support for Steam, Linux, and Proton. This is huge because that means that we'll be able to play games soon like Fortnite and, uh, and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, Rainbow Six Siege if, 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 if you really want to play those games. Uh, it, it should get more people moving to Linux with Windows 11 looking like it's going to be the flop that it is. I really hope that this is a positive. Uh, I hope this is a positive outcome for. Uh, I hope this is a positive outcome for Linux. So, all right, everybody, that's all I have for today. Have a nice day.